man calves they have landed in blender 2.8 the new ones because blender has mad caps for many years now but two months ago sort of uh, yeah a bit more than two months ago i made this call for content to ask the community to contribute their best mad caps the ones that are actually cover more of kinds of different kinds of workflow and that they can be used with this new system that has blender 2.8 because up until now, Blender 2.7 had a fixed amount of matcaps. You couldn't have your own unless you recompile Blender, but you couldn't really easily add your own. And they were just, but basically matcaps are a texture that you apply to your model, just so to speak. And it moves with a normal, so you move the view and it's just, yeah, it's like a texture only. It's like lighting baked on a texture. But, and in 2.7, that's how it worked. But in 2.8, actually the, tech, the matcaps get multiplied on top of the lighting already existent in your scene. So you can actually, with the fewer matcaps, you can have much more variation. So this um, call for content was very popular. <laughs> 286 posts after, we have now 22 matcaps selected from uh, in 2.7, in 2.7 was 24, I think. So now it's about the same, but there are more variation now. For example, there are very specific ones for con checking details on your mesh, which before we didn't have too many. We we had some that were very specific, but most of them were like pretty-ish or wanted to be pretty, but they were not really um, that um, useful. So after tons of work, from the community and even this last blog post 15 hours ago, uh, a post uh, by Monieski, where he went through all of the ones that were selected. Um, so this was done all here in the in the Dev Talk forum. So people were contributing them and making uh, giving opinions and, and and it was really a community effort. So once the list was so, sort of um, um, selected. Then uh, this user, for example, Manieski went through all of them and made little changes to uh, most of them, the ones that really needed like a tweak on contrast or lighting. And so I think now it's getting pretty, pretty close. Of course, this can change anytime. We can actually update the matcaps, they're the individual files. So they can be, um, they can be updated anytime. And this time, unlike 2.7, they are now actual EXR files, unlike JPEGs from 2.7, and they are 512 uh, pixels. So they are actually much bigger, unlike the few little pixels that the previous one had, the low resolution. So what are they and how do they look like? Well, I have this nice file by Daniel Beisted. This is the render view of uh, Eevee. But in order to see the matcaps, just go to solid, and in solid view, I'm now in flat single, so I don't see much. Then you also have studio lighting, which is a, a basically an image with a few diffuse lighting um, spots where you can see your model. But with the matcap, now you can actually see your model much better. So these are the selection of matcaps that you're going to have. They are not categorized uh, at the moment. They're all just like all the fold, all the files in one folder, they are sorted alphabetically, they have a name. If you leave your mouse over, you will see the name that they have. Um, ideally, in the future, it will have like a tool, instant tooltip or something that is easier to, to see which kind is it. Ideally, even better in the future, this will be managed by the asset manager. So that way we could actually uh, put them into categories and they will be much more organized. Um, but for the time being, they're just dumped here. So you will find the default, but the, the one that is first is called basic. That's why it's first, it uh, starts with a B. But it's actually a good start because it has a brightish color. It, in the, it means that being bright, you can easily mix it with the single color of your scene and still have information about the, the of your mesh. You can mix it with material. So for example, if um, this material had a color, set in the viewport display, I could mix. So for example, these materials have a specific colors. I can mix um, the matcap on top of that. Or even better, random. So you can go with the random hue and just have a very nice overview of your mesh. And they all have different, uh, just to see it better, it's better to just go to single and then um, set the the, default to one, whoops, here, 
set the, the um, saturation to zero and the value to one. And that way you will see it better and how it looks. Then you have a black one, which is very dark, but it's uh, for long hours of, uh, of working with in the dark with uh, sculpting, maybe it's, it's good. Um, if the feedback with the community think it's too dark, we can always bump it in a, uh, we can all fix them one by one. Um, the, there is ones with reflections, there is ceramic, this one, I like this one actually with random, looks very cool. And on top of that, of course, you can mix cavity shading, so you can make really nice legs there, so you can see this, awesome. And you can even mix with, of course, anything, so you can even add shadows on top of that. So I don't know what's the point of using this besides being cool <laughs> in this case, but it, it really shows the details of your mesh. Um, but of course, to actually see the details, you won't mix all of this stuff, like the shadows. You don't really need the shadows all the time. So um, with the material, actually, it's much, much nicer. So this is pretty neat. Um, then you have some specific ones, for example, like uh, here, like this one with the lines. It's just to see the details on your geometry. If your geometry is really flat, like in this, you can tell. And if you had imperfections, of course, this is not the best model, but um, it gives you an idea. And it works better in like hard surface uh, meshes. Then uh, the normals, of course, it's very useful just to see where normals are pointing. Then uh, rim, you have a, a few that are also more reflective like this, and they all have their purpose. There are a few, you, you can leave your mouse over. This one is very typical for sculpting. It looks a bit like uh, the big softwares to it. Um, but uh, but yeah, remember that this actually in the is using the solid mode, which you can mix with um, color uh, management. So you can actually make your scene brighter and then that will follow. Um, there is a car paint. Yes, there is even a tune one. So you have plenty of options here to play with. Um, yes, it's just so much eye candy. So remember this, you can tweak. Okay, I'm not in MATCAP anymore here. So remember you can always tweak this yourself and Blender 2.8 now allows you to add new MATCAPs. So in order to add new ones, you just click here in the little, um, icon here in the corner and in matcaps you can always install matcap and then you can just add a new image. Okay, this one is not the best example, but you should go and check out the thread because there are many, many that are very good looking and uh, like I really like the jade one. This is just beautiful. It's like candy. So, so nice. So. Go, play with it. Thank you, community, you are amazing. This is a huge improvement for Blender, like for in general for the community, it's, it's gonna make sculpting and uh, checking your, um, your models so much simpler, so much easier. So it's been a great, uh, a great, uh, let's see how this picture, ew. <laughs> okay, you're not supposed to use this kind of stuff. Anyway, I will leave it here because I have to continue working because after this was the call for matcaps, there will be another, uh, the, the next call will be for the workspaces, which I already did. And now I'm gonna do the final tweaks and also upload them. I'm gonna make a video about that. But a little bird told me that the next video I make might be Chris Pencil. Yes, 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 it's coming, it's coming. So stay tuned for the next video and I will see you there.